Daniel Gordon. I'm uh, removing this uh, play toy for children. The homeowner doesn't have children, he, they're all grown up, so uh, his fence line is going to go through this, and we're just removing it for convenience for him. First thing we do is set our. <coughs> First thing we do is set our. First thing we do in any fence is we set our end post and our corner post so we have a nice, so we have a st string line. First thing we do on a chain link fence is we start with our end post and our corner post. That way we have a nice straight line for all our line post. Occasionally we get rocks in the hole and we have to pick them out with the pick. Well, the auger doesn't take all the dirt out of the hole, so we're just cleaning the hole right now. This is uh, this Oklahoma dirt, a lot of rocks, a lot of hard red dirt. This is the hardest part of the job. That was actually an easy hole, considering a lot of the rock we normally have to go through. I'm just getting done setting my gate post here. What I do is I check it both directions. As you can see, it's right on level. It's very important for your gate posts. The hardware that we get with these is pretty much so even. And uh, if it's tilted one way or the other, you'll see the gate leaning in and out. The height uh, is... Uh, Four two. We check the height on it. <clears throat> Height's right. That way we don't have to cut the tops. We get as much into the earth as necessary, as much as we can. All right. What we're doing here is setting our gate post. The odd shape of this whole outlay between the trees and everything. What we did is we squared up our drive. So when you drive through this, through the driveway, it's going to be square here. Then it's going to angle back a little bit. Because of the trees growing here, we're going to angle this a little bit back. We did exactly 10 foot. When you buy a gate, you have a 2 inch in between here. That's going to be 2 inches. Like that. And that's for our gate hardware to latch up just right. We have 2 inches for our... Our latches, our hinges, excuse me, hinges and latches, two inches here. And of course, two inches over here. We get all this plum and center. It's all going to work great. Well, it's this time again. Time to take a coffee break. Um, there's no stores around close. We're out in the country, building fence. So, we brought our trusty little thermos. And it's really cold in December. Whenever we make a mistake, like we did, which, when it's buried, this is just a water line. It's a water soaker hose. hose. <laughs> it's one of them soaker hoses. Soaker hoses. Um, then we just uh, get an adapter or a splicer and we fix it. We take all responsibility for damages we do. Take care of it. Now this is one of these difficult holes where there's rock. This is a pick bar. And I slam it in there and dig a hole, and then we clean it out with some post hole diggers. We want to make this four foot two, make the 50 inches.
have here is a end post, and uh, our little brackets here will uh, mount into this and hold this sturdy. We already had cut it down to size, and we can't get down any further because there's concrete here underneath this ground. There's footing right in here. We got our height and what we're gonna do is find a couple good spots. Get our level like this. And I hope that the masonry guys did as good as possible because this is gonna fit where it's going to fit up against this wall. We're going to use one inch security anchors here. I do have two inch, but the mortar on these bricks are relatively they're uh, shallow, which means they're not very deep of mortar normally. When we put our anchor in, this is what's going to separate out right here, like this. So we're going to put it in there lengthways with the mortar. <clears throat> Just like so, they're in there to stay. You won't have any problems. The only way to get those out is with a grinder or cut them off with a torch or somehow. Once again, I'm going to put this so it separates out into the mortar. Now lift tight. This post is not going anywhere. Yeah, we're uh, putting our top rail in right now. And what I do is they all fit together. Get my mark at the end of the cap here. That should be a good tight fit. And there it is. We always put our bolts from the outside going in with our nuts on the inside of our fence. It looks cleaner. Um, someone can't come along with a wrench and take it off. It's all around practical.